Okay, continuing on the Rogue ST train, today we're talking about fairway woods. There's three models, the Rogue ST Max, the Rogue ST Max D, and the Rogue ST Max LS. So we're gonna start with the Rogue ST Max. We're gonna hit some balls, show you what it does. Here we go. Welcome to the world of wonder. Let the games begin. Oh, this thing's awesome. It's actually a lot of fun to hit. This is Mr. Phil Mickelson. Phil, it's nice to meet you. I know a lot about your bag. How much do you know about your own? Not as much as you. Hey, that's a good reason to put an iron in your bag. There's so much that goes into a just in the golf club. Do you see that? Okay, so we're starting with the Rogue ST Max. I got my boy Jason Felicitas here going through all the numbers with me as we hit some shots. So it's kind of your, it's kind of your fastball down the middle fairway with this year, right? Pretty much. So what do you want to see? For the most players, they're going to be seeing, you know, ball speed as always, right? right? Uh, a lot of forgiveness. Fairwoods are notoriously difficult to hit in the air, yes, so they are. get them off the ground. And then this is going to have your just a touch of draw bias in there for most players, which helps uh, turn the ball over or straighten it out for a lot of them. Uh, just for the folks at home, we got a Tensei Blue AV Series 75 gram shaft is one of the stock offerings in the Rogue Fairway Woods. It looks good, just like the driver. It's got that matte crown. Sets up pretty square, so let's just see how this thing gets in the air here. Okay, nice draw right out of the Schneider. Great ball there. Okay, it's really easy to get up, I can tell you that. Like getting this thing off the ground is actually quite easy. It sits into the ground really well, so you can not only see some loft there, but it actually gives you a little bit of confidence to get the club under the ball. Okay, that was a little bit of a miss hit, but I'm actually kind of curious to see how that uh, yeah. Launched up a little bit more, a little bit to the right. So 12 degrees of launch, 4,000 backspin. Okay. Not bad for what you were, what you were saying, right? That was right? a miss hit. That was Correct. a total miss hit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good to know. A nice big high draw, a little bit out of the toe, Jay. Yeah, but good flight for, for especially if players are worried about getting airborne. It's pretty easy to get up in the air. This is pretty easy to hit. All right, so let's hit a couple off the tee. Beautiful. Really like it off the tee. Like super easy to hit off the tee. But that thing kind of flew like a driver, didn't it, a little bit? It did, yeah. It took off pretty low, nine degrees of launch, right in the window that we want to see it. I mean, it's got a good sound to it. It kind of sounds like the driver, kind of like a hammer sound. Good ball there. And that's a little thin too, but it's not, it's not falling out of the air, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's overspinning, ramping up, or losing you that much distance. It's still very solid. That You said it was low on the face and still spin rate right around 3,200, which is, again, still it's ideal. It's killer, yeah. Mm -hmm. you could, that's, that's, a go, that's a golf course club right there, Correct. I think that is. Okay, so main things to remember about the Rogue ST Max Ferry Woods. They're easy to launch. They're fast. They're very forgiving, and they're a little bit draw bias for the people that are looking to turn it over. When I say a little bit, I mean just a little bit, just to give that little nudge that way. If you want any more information, go to CallawayGolf.com, World of Wonder website, tons of content on the Rogue ST family, so look out for all the videos. It's Johnny Wonder, signing off. See you later.